People are in custody tonight after a robbery and a police standoff in Terre Haute. It happened just before 1 o'clock today at the corner of Harding Avenue and Idaho Street. News 10's Amanda Jarrett was on the scene. She joins us now live in the newsroom with details. Amanda? Patrice, it all started at the Greyhound bus station in Terre Haute. Two men waiting for a bus when everything changed. An empty, quiet bus station in the middle of the day soon led to a police standoff. This is the bush I dove over right here. Greg Fraley and another man robbed at gunpoint while waiting for their bus. Come up here just to visit my brother for 4th of July, and next thing I know, I'm getting robbed, you know, at a Greyhound bus station. But Fraley didn't want them to get away. He chased the two suspects, calling 911. What else could I do? I wasn't going to let them shoot, shoot somebody, you know. Or steal no more money. The two suspects ran into this house on Harding Avenue, barely a block away, hiding inside for nearly an hour. All the while, police, snipers, and SWAT swarmed the house. Before uh, we were able to make communications with the people inside the house, one of the males emerged, uh, gave himself up on the front porch. Uh, we discovered a second male hiding in the crawl space of the basement. Ending the short standoff peacefully. Fortunately, it all turned out really well. Both were taken into custody without an incident. News 10 was on the scene as suspects were loaded into the cop cars. We can't show their faces because they may be minors. While the investigation continues, Fraley credits his stolen pack of cigarettes for linking the suspects to the crime. And I told that that cop, I said, if you find a pack of menthol cigarettes in their possession, them's the guys that did it. Fraley says he won't be boarding his bus anytime soon. He's heading back to stay with his family. Thankful he's okay. It was just luck of the draw we didn't get shot. Now, police say the suspects kept changing their story, so they're still trying to correctly ID them with their names and ages. As of right now, they face robbery charges. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amanda Jarrett, News 10. Patrice, back to you. Thank you, Amanda. News 10 will, of course, continue to follow the story and bring you any more details as they are released.